Hello, my name is Marcus. I'm the creator of Icarus and today I want to show you some features from the oscillator section. The oscillator section of Icarus has three oscillators, one, two and three, and you can select them by clicking on the numbers here. By default only oscillator one is on, so I will go to oscillator two and switch it on and detune it. one octave down for a more fat sound. The oscillators of Icarus are a true stereo architecture. Each oscillator can be individually panned left or right. Each of these three oscillator sections can again be stacked from one to ten oscillators. And we included hypersaw mouths. detune knob controls the detuning of the hyper source and what's new to Icarus that we extended this hyper con uh, concept to a stereo hyper saw concept We also included a uh, Unition, a possibility to stock stack oscillators uh, with Unition in stereo and octave detuning. And we got uh, some kind of super saw modes. And then we got chords. Fifth. or flanging and all that can be done with every single oscillator pair so you can play up to 30 oscillators per voice Icarus is a wavetable synthesizer. This does mean that the oscillators cannot only play back static so um, waveforms like a sawtooth or a square wave. You can morph between waveforms and the wavetables are selected by clicking on this section here. And there you can choose different wavetables and each wavetable consists of uh, a number from 1 to 265 waveforms and these waveforms they can be cross blended by clicking on the wave knob there is also a control which is called fade and this fade control uh, tells the synthesizer how the transition between uh, those waveforms happens. If you got it uh, set to zero, it will use a very hard transition. This does mean that the synthesizer jumps from one waveform to the next. And if you turn it uh, to the right, it will uh, create a very smooth transition. So uh, it, it depends on which sound you build, what kind of uh, fading you're using. What's also quite unique uh, to Icarus is uh, those different morph modes. 
the morph mode is a specific way how this wave table is played back and Icarus comes with a very large number of different morph modes and those morph modes can be applied to uh, the wave tables. I will initialize a new patch to start with the default one. So we got the plane sort of here. And now for example I use uh, wave shaping for the morph mode. So you can uh, change the the sound of the wave table dramatically. And additional to this morph control you can also change the wave. So and what you can also do is that you apply this morph mode to a wave table and then the current wave table which previously consisted from the sawtooth, the square wave and the scene wave is replaced with a new one. And now I, I can come here to this section and then apply another morph mode to it. For example, frequency modulation or some kind of filtering. I can render it back again and I, I received another wave table. So you, you can create an unlimited number of new waveforms by applying those morph modes. One of the main features uh, from a wavetable synthesizer is the cross blending of the waveforms. By default, this cross blending is done with the wave button, but can be also done with an LFO. And here, by default, LFO1 modulates the waveform. I turn this knob here right. Then LFO one starts to modulate the waveform here. I can control the speed here. How fast this happens, and synchronize it to BPM, so you can create very rhythmic sequences. Never forget, never forget, never forget.